Hi guys, nandito tayo ngayon sa website ng XDC Singfin Network, uh, www.singfin.org. Yung unique dito sa XDC, ang pinaka-focus ng uh, use case niya on improving our uh, global payment system is concentrated or more focused on the trade and finance uh, institutions or sectors. Ayan. So ang sabi pa dito, combining the power of public and private blockchains with interoperable smart contracts. What is Zinfin? Okay, so what is Zinfin? Zinfin stands for Exchange Infinite. <laughs> okay, so yun pala yung ibig sabihin ng Zinfin. Exchange Infinite. It is the next generation of the global computer network. Okay, next generation of the global computer network. Connecting communities and enterprises around the globe using blockchain technology. Um, okay, so yun guys, na, na-uncover na talaga yung pinaka main uh, purpose ng XDC dito sa initial part ng video. So XDC, Singfin Network, will be the next generation global computer network na magko-connect between uh, different communities and enterprises around the world with the help or with the application of the uh, blockchain or cryptocurrency. So dito na mag apply yung ano, concept ng cryptocurrency and yung integration ng use case ng uh, XDC Singfin Network. The network is powered by its native fuel called, okay. called Zinfin Digital. Okay, so ito yung main fuel daw ng uh, XDC Singfin Network, yung Singfin Digital Contract. Contracts, or XDC. Ayun, kaya acronym pala talaga siya. <laughs> Singfin Digital Contract, XDC. Zinfin is a first of its kind. Okay, first. Okay, Singfin, the first hybrid, the hybrid blockchain. blockchain network. It combines the power and transparency of public blockchains. Okay, power and transparency of public blockchains. With the security and speed of... Ayan, importante yan. Uh, security and speed of the private network. Okay, yung dito kanina sa public blockchain, balikan lang natin ng saglit. It combines the power and transparency of public blockchain. Ayan no? public network, power transparency. Uh, based dito sa explanation ng video, ang ibig sabihin nito, hindi niya kailangan kumonsumo mo ng napaka uh, raming energy para mag-run yung mga transactions within the Singfin blockchain or XDC blockchain. And with the help nung sinasabi dito na and private network, the security and sp- ayan, private network, security and speed, since yung uh, use case din itong XDC Singfin network is Uh, about uh, payments, uh, trade and finance, very important lang talaga na highly secured and mabilis yung mga transactions within the blockchain ng XDC. Dito pa lang makikita na natin na ang gusto nilang ma-fulfill is makagawa ng napakaraming transaction sa mabilis na time frame at the same time may reassurance yung mga projects na nasa blockchain na secure yung mismong network and Magiging efficient yung network dahil when it comes to uh, consuming power, hindi nila kailangan ng uh, very high usage or electricity para lang mag yung blockchain. Conserving power. Ayan, power transparency. Yun yung ibig sabihin yan. Of public blockchains with the security and Ayan. speed of private networks. A permission consensus mechanism. Eh, ito guys, itong permission consensus mechanism, ito yung uh, specific na mechanism dito sa XDC network na tutulong para ma-fulfill yung uh, power transparency na nabanggit natin kanina sa public network. So with the help of the permission consensus mechanism, ma-fulfill ni XDC yung lahat ng mga transactions kahit gaano pa siya karami in, in a short amount of time with high level of security and hindi niya kailangan gumamit ng napaka uh, high na energy para mag-run yung lahat ng activities sa blockchain. 
Ayan. Mechanism replaces the wasteful energy intensive mining making XDC. Ayan, ito guys, so ito yung yung kanina yung permission consensus mechanism. Yun yung mag address dito sa isang problema kasi may tinatawag tayo na ano yung yung blockchain trilemma. Uh, mah- mahirap kasi i-balance yung ano eh, yung yung power consumption tapos at the same time gusto mo mabilis lahat ng transaction tapos at the same time secure din yung mismong network. Yung Bitcoin or yung uh, BTC uh, secure and nakakapag-fulfill naman ng transactions ang Bitcoin pero sa Bitcoin ang pinaka uh, number one doon talaga yung security. Kumbaga tapos second na lang yung ano niya yung transactions kasi if if we're going to compare yung transactions per second ng Bitcoin compare dito sa XDC, lamang na lamang at malayo talaga yung uh, kayang transactions per second ng XDC network compared sa Bitcoin. And then yung pinaka least na uh, kayang gawin ng Bitcoin or BTC is yung uh, pag-conserve ng power. As compared to XDC network, with, with the help of the uh, permission consensus mechanism, itong problema ng uh, BTC or Bitcoin when it comes to uh, wasteful energy and intensive mining na address na to ng XDC by uh, implementing or integrating yung permission uh, consensus mechanism. So yun yung permission consensus mechanism, yun yung mag eliminate dito sa uh, pain point na to when it comes to uh, wasteful uh, energy consumption. Ayan. Be essentially mining free. So how does hybrid work? The network has a public state that is shared by all members. Additionally, enterprises can host private subnetworks. So with enterprise A and B, each will have the public state plus their own unique private state. The public state can be used to share basic data securely and transparently across the XDC network. Ito yung public state. Okay, public state share basic data securely and transparently. The private state can be used to protect sensitive Okay. Okay. Nakita niyo yung yung public state kanina, tatlong bar graph, iba't ibang klasing community. Dahil public siya, pwede silang mag-share ng mga information. Pero itong setup ng private state, ganun din naman siya, pero on a high level, nakapaloob lang sa isang pinaka main private uh, state yung nagaganap dito sa transaction na to. So depende na sa uh, project na magbibuild sa XDC blockchain kung anong setup yung gusto nila, either private state or public state. Ayan. Or financial data from the outside world. The XDC protocol can work as a messaging and confirmation layer for domestic Okay. So messaging and confirmation layer or cross-border approved payments. Kita niyo, guys, pakinggan niyo yung sinabi niya. Domestic or cross-border approved pay- natin na. the outside world. The XDC protocol can work as a messaging. The XDC protocol can work as a messaging. And confirmation layer. And confirmation layer. For domestic or cro- for co- for domestic or cross-border approved pay- cross-border approved payments. payments. So parang XRP din di ba? Cross-border payments. Yun nga lang kasi ito. Uh, based sa mga readings ko in yung mga research na nagawa ko na trade and finance nga eh kaya when it comes to logistics yung mga delivery shipment yung mga payment transactions na nakapaloob doon between different enterprises around the world yung mga community and uh, enterprises around the world yun yung i-address nitong XDC uh, Sinfi Network so yun siya So, di ba, nakikita nyo yung ano niya, yung halos synonymous lang sa XRP and XLN, pero meron siyang specific and unique feature. Mag-work sila hand-in-hand, kaya sila magkakasama sa ISO uh, 222 compliant cryptos. So, di ba, kapag ka pinagdugtong-dugtong natin, mag-make sense talaga. Or, the XDC token can be used as a payment Ayan o, oh, XDC token can be used as a payment and settlement layer. Payment and settlement layer, supported by approved financial... <laughs> oh, ayan ah. XDC token, payment and settlement layer approved financial institutions. institutions. With secure... Kita niyo yung mga ginagamit na logo, banko talaga. 
Alam ano, ano na yan eh? Implicit yan pero 'di ba? Approved talaga 'to ng mga banko. And audited smart contracts. Audited smart contract. O kita niyo guys, so oh, may smart contract pa siya. And IoT. Parang Cardano din. The integration. The ex- Ayan guys, so oh, kita niyo. Ayun, yun, yun nga yun, no. Oh. Tingnan niyo. Ayun oh, shipment. Ito yung mga cargo, yung mga barko, hospital, solar panels. So dito most likely yung mga agricultural uh, services, most likely private institutions to at mga banko ito. Ayan, integrated automated building systems. So yun yun. IoT integrated automated building systems. Ayan. Ayan no. Oh. Dito pa lang makikita mo na yung mga ano niya. Kita nyo, healthcare market. Kakaano yan eh, magkakaugnay yan. Yung search term pa lang ha, nandito pa lang tayo nasagot na. So balikan natin yung video. Ayan no, oh, di ba? XTC protocol facilitates real world contracts and transactions. Okay. XDC facilitates real world transactions and contracts. Come, join the XDC community. Ayun. So napakaganda. Uh, kahit uh, may kli lang yung video, parang ang dami na nating natutunan. Again, this is not a financial advice and always remember that all the information in our Involved Asia and Cryptocurrency YouTube channel is published in good faith and for general information purpose only. Any action that you take upon the information you find on our Involved Asia and Cryptocurrency YouTube channel is strictly at your own risk.